What's going on, big dog? Oh yes, shit, sir. rocking that Nipsey hustle. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Chris, the real Joe Cormier. I be pro and legend. Competed in um, over 75 pro shows, 11 pro wins, 22 second places, and 36 top three finishes. Hi, right, let's see. Quarter turn you right. Early in the Quarter turn. Uh, Chris Comier is a Chris Comier is a legend. He's a true legend in the sport. I mean, anybody that knows anything about professional bodybuilding, when you start talking about the you start talking about the '90s to to the early 2000s, I mean, if you're not mentioning his name as one of the greats, you don't know what you're talking about. He's been on the Olympia stage multiple times. So he knows mentally where I need to be. He knows what I need to be focused on and, how, and what I have to do to get there. Early You know, Roy has a complete look. He has he has a complete look. Now, it's a matter of bringing that quality look to that IFBB professional league stage. And when I say that, is will he come there with the roundness that he needs to have? Will his back be developed? Because an open bodybuilding, when they turn around, it, you, it, it's going to make or break you. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. Coronavirus trying to get me. They got me working remotely. Outside, still closed. I drink a bottle of wine. I need my summertime. But I'm staying safe and fine. During my quarantine. I'm in the house. Coronavirus trying to get me. They got me working remotely. Outside, still closed. I drink a bottle of wine. I need my summertime. But I'm staying safe and fine. You know, are you going to have the lagging hanging down last, per se? You know, are you going to have the sleeping quad? Because Roy is big, but when he dies down, what's going to happen? Will he still look like a classic physique competitor, or will he be round and full? See the difference? All right. Set. Side chest. Go right into it. It's like an illusion of how big you really are as opposed to how much you weigh and all that stuff. But no one's going to ask you how much you weigh up there. But if you can bring enough size and shape and uh, classic attributes, the old school look a lot of people say, 
uh, and I think that's going to fare out the best for Roy. When it comes to, to your side of the house where you got to have something to promote, you need something that's unattainable. You need a spectacle. You need something where, like, when you see it, you're like, holy shit, what is that? Gonna have to keep in mind that he's playing his own game, you know? Uh, there's a better version of yourself is all you can bring, not try to, to I feel physique with someone else's physique or just, you know, it's just a, it's, it's a totally different thing and concept when you go up there with your particular size and shape for your particular height and weight and body structure. When, when you leave the earth, every time a person goes into the gym and talks about weights and all that, they mention in your name. That's how you got to do it. You got to bring something that that is unattainable that's legendary so that that's what i'm looking at doing watch your wrist your wrist straight just the actual wrist itself there you go just bring that get a little that front elbow let's get a little bit more give me that look like this now you have a good straight arm. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Turn it To be continued.